Welcome to the video example for the July 1st uh, assignment for the Harry School of Discipline Back to Basics Comic Book Boot Camp. Let's read what it's about. We got 10 minute drill sketches. Draw what you see. You got to sketch a minimum of 24 inside environment illustrations. So I'm going to show you an example of uh, how I approached it, okay? Pick a picture nice environment here and now the key is is you're not gonna focus on your details make sure my tools are ready I just picked an inside what looks like a pretty dynamic setting uh, just from Google images and what I start here is I I just start by framing out a piece of it uh, I started with the ceiling which uh, really it doesn't matter where you start I wanted to just show you an example of how it uh, should be done. And these are sketches. And in fact, every single assignment within this first session, these first 30 days of the comic book boot camp, should be sketches. It's not about the detail. It's not about trying to do finished work. This is really about getting your compositions down, getting a feel for your environment, not being afraid to do backgrounds. And so, as you can see here where I'm at in the video, I used that kind of glowing yellow thing right in the center as my reference point. Once you get your basic feel down for an environment, especially if you're trying to recreate something that you're looking at, I like to pick one item, make it my reference point and then build out from there. So now that I had uh, everything in place for that, then I just started going for it. Now this video is only a five minute sketch. So when I reach the end of what I do, I could have went for a whole another five minutes, doubled up on my work, but that really wouldn't have served the purpose for the example. So you can see I got the top part of the I can't remember what it's called now. The top part right above the fireplace, the banister or whatever it is. And then I drew the little chair. And I'm just, you know, I'm just freehanding this. I'm looking over at the illustration or the uh, photo, rather, of the living room. And it's important to use a photo. These should all be real life references for the assignment. So whether it's your personal rumor or something from the internet. Now you notice I made the two circles. That is because I noticed a discrepancy. So on my illustration, the wall comes down in the middle of the chair, where in the photo it comes down in the middle of the pillow. Now I'm not going to go and erase anything. In fact, I don't erase a single thing as I go through this. I just keep moving forward. And that's really the point of the exercise. Work in real time. Make adjustments in real time. Get loose. Get comfortable focusing on what you're drawing and getting this environment down. Don't pause to erase. Don't lose your any part of your 10 minute sketch time. Just get through the environment and then move to the next one. And train yourself to recognize where things line up. Like you can see I'm working on the table. And if you notice in the illustration, the table lines up with the bottom part of that chair. So I use that as a reference. And then again, I'm going back up and I'm doing uh, the chair that's by the fireplace and I stopped and noticed that my reference point really is the other stool which is right above the first one so I drew that in next then I go back start working on my chair and uh, you know you just kinda walk your way through this whole environment you can get used to how things play out and how they sit within perspective and there are some lines of thought where people think if you really want to get it right you, know, you should do your perspective grid and lay all that down and there's a place for that but for this exercise it's not necessary what's necessary is that you're training your eye to draw what it sees so you just keep moving now you'll notice in my sketch that I see I just drew a line from the bottom of the chair legs over to where the legs on that stool were and they don't match up I've now pulled that stool further into the foreground because of how my composition is, I have it angled too much. So uh, if that's something that if I was going to finalize this into uh, a piece and I really needed it to look like the environment, I'd have to adjust that. But for the purposes of what it is now, using the photo as a reference point, 
it doesn't make that much of a difference. So I'm adding in the tree. You know, just like I said, you work your way through, you just go and loose, not focusing too much on details, not doing any shadows or anything. We just want to get, focus on the exercise, which is to draw what you see and draw out the composition, get the framing in there, get a feel for how things sit within their perspective. And all your shots should be like this, all medium shots where you see the whole room. It's not super pulled back, but definitely not pulled in because you want things to have a full environment around them. All right, so I put the floorboards in because I noticed as I was working that the floorboards provide a nice reference on really what the perspective is along with the complement of the ceiling itself. And then I'm just adding in some finer details and uh, playing around. So really, this is a five minutes. It's supposed to be a 10 minute sketch. I encourage you to really push yourself and utilize these, uh, these tasks, these daily tasks, to go outside your comfort zone and just go crazy with backgrounds because backgrounds are what editors want to see. So thanks for joining the Comic Book Bootcamp. Good luck.